shop, you can use the custom shape tools to create new custom shape tools by using various pathfinder or shape tools. So I'm just going to show you a shape. So I'm just going to select shape layer, then rectangle tool. Just going to draw out a rectangle, just a basic design. Then I'm going to go to the custom shape tool, which is underneath the rectangle tool. And I'm going to select a custom shape. Just one of these ones. These are from graphicextras.com. Just going to select one, but you can use any CSH file, custom shape file, and load them via the load or replace command or file open. It's for CS5, CS4, etc. Now I can do select one of these shape tools. This is what basically I'm going to use to create a new shape. So I can add, subtract, intersect, those sort of things. So I'm just going to quickly use the subtract tool in this quickly. So you see a little minus sign appear on the shape tool. I'm just going to just drag those across. Now this works if you're using this option. It won't work if you're using that. But So I'm just going to drag those over to create a quick frame design. So once that's done, I can now go to the edit define custom shape. But if I actually want to add as well, I can also add so I don't actually have to, I can actually go now, go to say, select one of the other tools, ellipse tool. I'm just going to quickly add some shape to that as well. So I can just make it a bit more, just add shapes as well. So you don't have to sub subtract, you can also add as well. So now I can go to edit, define custom shape and click OK. I'm just going to get rid of all that. I'm just going to put it to the fill layer, fill option, fill pixels. And, and now I'm just going to quickly draw that design out that I've just created. So I'm just going to go down to the, back to the palette, select that one. And you will see it's take, obviously got the color from uh, from here. But uh, so there's the parts I added and the parts I've subtracted from the original square.